Hey everybody, this is Karav Leohart, and I'm bringing you another GTA Double Money Event Week video. This week's Double Money is good from July 29th to August 4th, 2021. And if you enjoy these weekly updates, just smash that subscribe button and hit that like, turn on the notifications, it lets me know that you guys really enjoy this, and I'll be glad to make more. Celebrating the release of the new Tuners DLC, this week's theme is based off of that. So while the amount of cars on sale really isn't as plentiful as usual, there is still a lot to unpack with this update. So let's get to it. First off, let's start with this week's vehicles that you could potentially win. First up is a True Fade Z-Type that has a really nice paint job. I'm really enjoying that little blue streak in the, in the back half of the car. It really makes it stand out and kind of gives it a very elegant design to it. And this week's prize vehicle is a Warner HKR. And the condition to unlock this vehicle is you have to win five sprint races. And the great thing about this unlocking condition is that it actually double dips into this week's double money. So starting off with the first double money is the sprint races that was included with the Tuners DLC. The sprint races are similar to time trials. You and up to three other players start at the Los Santos car meet and you have to race to a certain location and back to the car meet. While this is a fun new race type, it does happen in free roam, so you have the other players to worry about during this race. But similar to the free roam time trials, there is no set path that you have to take to the location, so as long as you get to the location and return back to the start, that's good enough. Next up for the double money is the Vespucci job adversary mode. While this is a fun adversary mode, it really doesn't bring in as much cash to, to justify the length of, of gameplay. So for the money grinders, this really isn't the best option for making money, but if you're just looking to have some fun, I'd definitely say go for it, especially with the double money. Just enjoy yourself and have fun with it. Moving on to vehicle sales, we have the Vapid Click for $545,000, the Coil Raiden for $962,000, the Ocelot Pariah for $994,000, the Ocelot Locust for $975,000, the Declassy Mamba for $597,000. The Coquette Blackfin for $139,000. The BF Club for $768,000. The Karen Evron for $664,000. And the Volcar Nebula Turbo for $478,000. Now looking into this double money week, it's actually very kind of laxed, which is a good thing because people are still exploring the Tuners DLC. So I could go off the assumption that Rockstar didn't want to give us too much to work with this time. And with that, one of them was actually piggybacking off of something that's going on with the Tuners DLC with the sprint races. So for all my money grinders out there, just relax. Our time will come. We will be able to start making some serious money. But for now, let's see what we can do with this, with this DLC. Now I'm actually going to be spending quite a bit of time with this DLC. And when the time comes, I'm going to be making a guide. I'll actually leave a link here on this video to it. Well, there you we are. We're at the end of this video. Just let me know in the comments what you thought about this week's Double Money bonuses. If you enjoyed this video, just hit that like button. And if you definitely want to see more, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. Every week, I bring a new Double Money guide to help you guys know what you can make money with and what you can save money on. Alright guys, so thank you for stopping by and I can't wait to catch you on the next video.